In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways to make a cube with smooth edges. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to show you three different ways to get a cube with smooth edges. Now, the first way is the most common way, which you're familiar with. Select the default cube, press tab, go into edit mode, press 2 to choose edge select. And we're going to choose wireframe mode with x-ray turned on. We're going to select all the edges. And we're just going to press control B to bevel. And we're going to pull that back just a little bit. And then we're going to scroll up with the mouse wheel. And then we press tab, go into object mode, solid view mode, right click, shade smooth. Also moving forward, let me make sure you can see what keys I press. I'll just turn that on. There we go. So that's option number one, G, Y. Let's move this to the side. Now I'll show you another way. Shift A, mesh, we're gonna use a cube. And this cube, we are gonna to go to the modifier properties, add modifier, and we're gonna use a subdivision surface modifier. Put this level both on two and make sure it's simple. Then go to add modifiers and we're gonna use another subdivision surface modifier and put them both on two again. Right click, shade smooth. And you can see it's a slightly different style cube. It's not the exact same, but it's the same, more or less the same, good enough. Uh, G, Y, let's put this over here. Let me show you, uh, show you another way. Shift A, mesh, and we're gonna use a cube. Let's rename this cube, primary cube. And once you've done that, we're going to press Shift A Mesh, and we're going to use a, another cube, and we're going to call this Reference Cube, and we're going to press Numpad One to wait, Numpad Three to be in, in right orthographic, so we can see this. And then I'm going to press Wireframe Mode, and I've got the Reference Cube selected. I'm going to press S 0.5. Perfect. Now I'm going to select the primary cube and go into solid view mode so I can see what I'm doing. Tab, go into edit mode, right click, subdivide, and increase the subdivisions to about at least four. Once you've done that, press tab, go into object mode, add a modifier, and we're going to use a shrink wrap modifier. And the target would be the reference cube. And all we need to do now is increase the offset. And there you have it. It's as simple as that and there's another way to do this example let me delete this primary cube let me press shift a mesh you could also do it this way where you say you know what i'm going to give this subdivisions on simple i'm going to ramp it up to about six which is probably excessive you only need to ramp it up to to about four but we can adjust it now because it's non-destructive and then we can use the shrink wrap modifier and use the reference cube. And then we just increase this to the amount we want. Numpad one, numpad three. And with this, you could probably make this, let's try one. Let's make it 0 0.75. And once you've got the right size, you can always just scale it up uh, naturally as well. So it's not the end of the world. But uh, I'm gonna leave this on one. And you could play around with this to see what results you get, but the one that I get the best result with is on surface. And that's another way to smooth out the curves. Also, you want to right click shade smooth. And there you have it. So now you've got three different ways to get smooth edges on a cube, and they're all slightly different, got a slightly different style, which is super useful, depend knowing which style you want to use based on what you're modeling. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe.